Hey y'all, I decided to do a vlog this week since I'm off for spring break and I hadn't done a video in forever. Um, I'm currently heading down my driveway to put a few packages in the mailbox. It's a nice day, it's a cloudy. Got rain coming in finally, it hadn't rained in a long time. Here all the birds are chirping and I am in desperate need of <laughs> a haircut which I hope to schedule this week while I'm out of school. Uh, yeah, I had jury duty last week. I had to serve on a trial. So I'm still catching up from all of that. You can hear the crows hollering at each other over there probably. But I decided to just do a little vlog video every day this week. Mash together my day. I'm doing some spring cleaning. And uh, I hope y'all enjoy. All right? All right, I'm in my sewing room now. I realized the angle on that first part of the video, I probably looked like my face is poofed up because I had it up at me. Be all right. And I do look tired because I am tired. I've worked in the yard the past three days. Well, no, yesterday, yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. Yesterday, I did, um... What did I do yesterday? I rested a lot yesterday, but I did work on crochet pattern because I got to get the cow, the next section of the cow up. If y'all don't know, I have the murder mystery, the cozy murder mystery cow going on. If you want, there'll be links down below to the Facebook group and stuff if you want to check that out. But um, I had. I did some stuff around the house yesterday, but Saturday I went to my friends and we <sighs> fixed a hole in her cabinet, fixed her rabbit caged, cage, cage, made some jewelry holders, more jewelry holders for her, uh, which I'll insert a picture in here at the end or somewhere so y'all can see what we did. Um, so I was pooped from that and then the two days before I was out in my yard working, picking up pine cones and sticks and raking uh, pine straw to put around my bushes and and my little garden I'm going to start. So I was doing all that. Oh, yesterday I did cut my backyard just enough to get the weeds down where I'm trying to walk the dogs and stuff because there's somebody who cuts the grass. Even though I have a lawnmower, he has a zero-turn lawnmower, so it's easier for him to get around stuff, and I don't have to do it usually, but... I just need those weeds knocked down before he could get here. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm about to work on some uh, bags for the shop that aren't the Mini Maker Club. I know people have been asking for them forever, and I just haven't been able to. So I'm gonna turn this around so you can see uh, what I'm working on. Let me just that. Okay, there we go. All right, so these will be cut. These are mini maker bags, but it was a really cute, uh, some cute prints, little ring boots, and some of them's got shiny gold on it, farm print. It was a, what's it called a, oh, what do they call it, a layer cake. That was real cute, so I just wanted to do that. Um, these are going to be uh, a bigger bag. Uh, you can see it's got the love, true love. It's kind of a sewing print, funky sewing print. Now the print on one side of each of these bags is upside down because I didn't pay attention when I was cutting the holes, but it'd be all right. It's still a good bag. And they have this cute, uh, let me get that over there. Oh, these are this past month's mini maker bag. I'll put the extras up, the club. It was uh, Coffee Love, because I love coffee. I'm going to put those up. i got to get pictures and everything done. So, try real hard to get caught up on stuff this week. This is going to be the inside of those big drawstring bags. It's a little pin. I love it. And then, I've got some these totes. These are going to be just t quilted totes. i got three of them. And this nice springy print. This is the interior for these. If I can 
these are almost done. I don't have much more to do on these. Just got to finish them up and get pictures. I need to get pictures to my son to edit before he goes back to work. He is working at Home Depot currently. So, there we can see the inside a little bit. Just a little bit. But those are going to be up in there. And then I'm, I'm hoping to get some other stuff done this week to get up in there. Get up in there. Get in the shop. Um... Let me turn this around again. There we go. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping to get... Let's get a more flattering angle. Maybe that's better. I don't know. I did put some mascara on. I wouldn't scare y'all too bad. But I'm cleaning and stuff, y'all. Um, I'm hoping to get some rope baskets in there. I sold two of them a long, long time ago. And I never made any more. Uh, they're fun to make. And then some more bags. I've got more bags uh, coming. I am working on the the little zipper pouch everybody's supposed to get with their Mini Maker Club at the end. I hope to get mostly caught up. I've gotten some emails about that, and I'm going to answer those. I ha I'm not ignoring y'all. I just got to have time to sit down and do it. Um, so, uh, just that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to sew on some things for a little bit, and then I got to go... Work on the crochet pattern. I've got it started. I've also got the first mandala pattern started for the club, Mini Maker Club. I should have that up before the end of the week. And I'm going to start the second one. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully things get caught up before the end of this week. Y'all been trying to catch up since the beginning of the year. It just, it's not working. It's not, I'm, 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 I'm getting there. I'm getting there. One day at a time, right? One day at a time. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all a little later on. <laughs> walking, walking Miss Heffy Lou. She needs to come party. She likes to sit out here and enjoy the breeze a lot of times. Just older, older, older. Got time. Time to take dogs for a walk and get some lunch. Happy Lou sunning herself. This is her favorite thing to lay here. I usually sit on the ground beside her and pet her little belly because she enjoys that very much. Isn't that right, Happy Lou? Happy Lou? She can't hear me. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> She's deaf, but this is her favorite thing to do. <laughs> I'm done with lunch and I'm about to go back to work, but I want to show y'all. Uh, Switched out my mantle stuff to my springy decor. That friend, that paint, painted canvas, and that little bird frame, and that paper flower are all on my blog it's projects. I'll try to remember to put the link. And then that little guy, I've been going to paint parties once a month with my friend. We've been painting gnomes. I have a Valentine one too, but I got my my shamrock, my leprechaun gnome up, and uh, I think next week we're painting an Easter bunny gnome. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's fun, and we always enjoy it. So there you go. Lucky's turn for a walk. Although he's been out twice all day already today, he he needed to go again. As he thinks he's got to investigate the whole yard and pee on everything. <laughs> got my azaleas are blooming. The ones by the house aren't, but the ones out here always bloom first for some reason. This is out towards the end of the this property by the road. Lucky doesn't like to lay in the grass. He likes well, he does like rolling in it, grass and leaves, but he likes to be moving. Moving, moving. You don't want to sit and lay in the sun. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch Mr. Lucky rolling in the grass. I think he's trying to get out past the leaves. Get some grass. If the grass gets cut, these leaves will be chopped up. Chop, 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 chop. All right, Lucky. All right. Hmm? There he goes. Roll the face and roll it around. Oh, feels so good. Feels so good. 
And get the other side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Roly poly little guy. Shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> All right, I got bags finished. Well, I gotta put drawstrings in them, but I'll do that this evening while I'm Netflixing. <laughs> uh, so I got drawstrings to put in them. Those are done. Same thing for my little ones. All my top stitching's done. And I got these all done with their pockets and everything and handles. So there's actually two, like, two the same, basically, because it's the same prints and colors. I think that, well, that one's got green and polka dot, but I think that's on the other side. Now, this one's got green polka dots. This one's got pink polka dots, so that's the difference. And this one's more green prints and stripes instead of polka dots. So, I've got all of those done, and, but... I was going to get pictures, but I'm going to wait a little bit. I need to go out and do some yard work right quick. So, that's what I'm going to do because rain is coming and I want to get some things finished before. Uh, I want to rake up some more pastoral for my little garden before the guy comes to cut grass because I don't want him cutting it up. So, I'm going to do that right quick before it gets dark and the skeeters come out. And then I'll come back in here and be... Getting a shower, crocheting, getting some supper, all that good stuff. So, it's about 5 o'clock right now. So, it'll be dark before too much longer. It's, it's, it's staying light longer, but at about 6 o'clock it gets dark. So, I'll talk to y'all later. So, I put together this Hoppin' John and a New Orleans Sausage. Chopped it up and put it in there for supper. It was really good. Um, just something I decided to try. <laughs> I thought it's a little spicy as I have the New Orleans um, Johnsonville sausage and then mix it with this and you got like a little meal. It's pretty good. And also, y'all tried this new Coke Starlight. It's supposed to be space flavored. <laughs> This is zero sugar one. It's not, I've had the one with, with sugar. It's not super sweet anyway. These are tiny cans. And I guess I don't drink a lot of soda anyway, but uh, they're pretty good if you hadn't tried it. Uh, interesting. I don't know if that's what space tastes like, but maybe it is. I don't know. But I just thought I'd show you with y'all what I ate for supper. <laughs> All right. Okay, y'all. I am about to finish this vlog up for the day because I've got to get my son to mash it together so I can upload it. Hopefully, it'll get uploaded by this evening and y'all see it. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be working on... I've already got one section of the cow. The, 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 there's usually two parts if you haven't been following the cow. And this is the scarf size. It's just easier for me to work out a pattern on it. Because the way I made the pattern, you can multiply this to make as big of a blanket as you want. So, um, I have been working on my big bird, my lap blanket. I've gotten this done so far on that. But, I'm going to finish this pattern and then uh, the other section of this. So, that's, that's a little sneak peek of what is coming up for the next section in the cow. Um... So I'll have that up. I'm hoping to have that up by tomorrow for anybody who's participating in that tomorrow evening. I've got to edit the pictures, which take longer. I can't let my son do it because he doesn't know crochet and he can't put the instructions on it for me. So I, I do those myself. And then I'll be taking pictures of the items I showed you earlier for the shop. And I have a bags of scraps in there, fabric scraps. I forgot to show y'all, but I'm going to be listing those too. Um, they're big bags. Well, I put them in the bubble envelopes, the um, flat rate bubble envelopes. So it's like two pounds of scraps, and I'm going to sell them that way. So I'll look for those in the shop if you're looking for some fabric scraps. Um, so I have too many. I usually use them to make other bags, but I have way too many. <laughs> I need to get them out. So, uh, yeah, I've got uh, 
my yard work done I wanted to get done and there's rain coming in this evening and y'all it's been in the 80s the past couple of weeks and haven't had any rain or a few weeks really and I um looked at the radar earlier and we have rain coming in this evening late then Tuesday's just gonna be kind of a cloudy day it's 20% chance of rain I think that's just because this rain's coming in so late today and then Wednesday through Friday, we're expecting two to four inches of rain. And then Saturday and Sunday, they're showing a high of 54 and a low of 24. And then by Monday, back to 68. <laughs> so it's going to be really cold this weekend. And it's going to warm right back up. I just love this weather, don't y'all? All right. I, I just put my coat away in the closet today because I said I don't need this out anymore <laughs> I was wrong so I'm gonna work on this and Netflix and crochet for the rest of the evening and um, I will see y'all tomorrow I hope y'all have a wonderful evening and had a great start to your week so bye and the reason I'm not uh, filming my face right now is because I just got out of the shower and my head's all wet and crazy looking not that it was looking that great today anyway <laughs> all right see y'all tomorrow